people. Aloha, Mike Kako. Welcome to another uplifting edition of the Little Grass Shack, where we bring you the best of island music, culture, and the spirit of aloha. I'm Ayla Emery, and today we have a special guest joining us, someone who's made a significant impact on our community here in Las Vegas. We're thrilled to welcome Randy Hatala, the visionary founder of Expand Realty. Randy has built more than just a business. He's cultivated a legacy rooted here in hard work, integrity, and the spirit of aloha. So sit back and relax. Let's get ready to learn more about Randy Hatata and his incredible work with Expand Realty. This is the Little Grass Shack where the spirit of aloha lives. I'm Island Emery with the Little Grass Shack. Yes, welcome to Little Grass Shack. I'm Island Emery on Whole Spotlight for today, Mr. Randy Hatata. How's it, brother? How you doing? How's it? Uh, doing very well. Thank you. Good, bro, man. You're looking sharp, bro. You're looking good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got Randy uh, in the uh, Little Grass Shack talking story with him about his uh, his uh, life uh, journey. And it uh, ends up right here on the Ninth Island, yeah, bro? Thank you. Yes. Yes, it did. You and know? here I am. <laughs> I know. But, uh, you know, one thing about I like to talk about is like, uh, you know, how do you how did you get from Hawaii to Las Vegas? Bro? I had a father that uh, really believed in opening, expanding our horizons, you know, mm-hmm. taking off the blinders. And uh, he literally forced me out the out the hen. I mean, out the, uh, <laughs> the hen house. out the house. Yeah. And uh, he said, you got to go. And transferred to UNLV from uh, University of Hawaii and the rest is history. Wow. Yeah. Well, what island you represent? Big Island. Big Island. Yeah, Big it's, Island, uh, Hilo. <laughs> Hilo. Wow, man. You know, I just came back from Hilo. I just love Hilo, man. Even though it's a rainy town, but yet it just brings back that greenery. It does. It brings you back to earth, man. It does. Yeah. It does. It does. Now, from Hilo to uh, the Ninth Island, I mean, what was your expectations? You know, coming to UNLV, like, oh, you know what? Is it going to be other local kids here, or did you know about the uh, you know other uh, kids coming going to UNLV? Well, I was real lucky because uh, the truth is, I came up for spring break. Mm-hmm. I had a bunch of friends attending UNLV at the time. Never went home, and uh, I came as green as you could be. Uh, hence, it's appropriate to be in the Greenspun building. But right. I came up green. I mean, you know, as raw as you could, and heavy pigeon English and uh, (laughs) I've adapted since then and here's the happy medium. Right. Were you ever part of the uh, like the UNLV Hawaii club uh, per se? The Ivalu club um, I was part of it at school during the uh, college years. Yes college years. Yeah but it's been a no, no, very no, long. No, no, Let's no, not no, talk no. years. No, 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 no. We're not gonna talk years. But uh, you know, uh, for me, uh, you know, coming here, I did attend the uh, you know UNLV for a little bit, and uh, you know, they had a great. Uh, um, uh, you know, obviously, we were all about sports, right? And then that's how the Hollow Kids, uh, how all the kids came together here at the UNLV, mm-hmm. and then uh, and then the fraternities here at UNLV embraced us because they love how Hawaii through parties. Oh, you know what? Um, <laughs> That's going to bring me to another topic later, but, okay. you know, just just being able to do us, you know, represent Hawaii right. and um, came in, coming in like a little bit insecure with the pigeon and all that, yeah. but embracing that, representing Hawaii, yes. people embrace that culture and just being you and um, we've come a long way, a lot of friends, you know, up here based yeah. on that. I know, man. I, you know, we, as uh, we talk about it, it's, it takes me back as well, you know, with the uh, the whole UNLV, uh, UH arrival, you know, the Hawaii football team come up here and all the students, you know, they uh, gravitate to the stadium and they represent Hawaii even though they go UNLV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People come up here and uh, they become extra Hawaiian. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. but you know what? You're right, you know you're what? right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> you know what? Uh We're proud people, you know, and uh, we come from a great place, great land, great culture, and... Um, why not be proud? Share it, you know, share it with the world. I love that. Right? Man. I love that philosophy, you know, spread the aloha, man. Don't keep it to spread yourself. Spread the aloha. That's what it is. <laughs> you know, we'll talk more with uh, Randy Hatata in the uh, Little Grass Shag as we continue with more music right here on that FM dial. I'm Ian Emery.
Now, uh, back to, to Little Grass Shack. I still got uh, Mr. Randy Atari in the uh, Little Grass Shack with Expand Realty. You know, when you talk about real estate, I mean, Las Vegas has been that, uh, I guess you could say Disneyland. I mean, how'd you get into real estate, uh, Randy? Uh, I've always been, I've always gravitate, gravitated towards business and marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I graduated here at, WIT. And uh, that's my passion. So being able to apply that to real estate and help people uh, in two ways. Houses, you know, you know, finding homes, putting roofs over their heads, right. number one. And number two, uh, creating a generation of wealth with that. Um, I've been able to help a lot of people. Awesome. Yeah. Now, uh, you know, uh, let's say, what, what year did you come to, uh, I mean, when, what, what year did you venture into uh, real estate here at, at uh, in Las Vegas? About 2003. Two? 2002? Yeah. And how has the market uh, <laughs> over the past years? I mean, we were in 2024, but uh, uh, how's that? Uh, how, what's the impact? It's been a roller coaster, except uh, the the dip only happened once. Right. Other than that, it's just been going uphill. And, um, you know, we've been enjoying that ride and helping a lot of people take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's provided a lot of opportunities for not only people like ourselves, but our clients as well, right? And that's what it's all about. Right. Yeah. I know you've uh, embraced the uh, the uh, philosophy of aloha and uh, giving back to the community. And, you know, you've become a, an educator and uh, teaching people about uh, real estate and, you know, like you said, uh, generational wealth. Um, uh, how does that uh, come into play as, uh, you know, as an educator? Uh, you know, with people coming to Hawaii, because sometimes people from Hawaii, they like, you know, oh, they're going to the big stage. They don't know what to expect. I mean, uh, well, how do you uh, comfort their uh, their uh, their thinking? Well, I let them know. I, I started the same way, you know. I right. came in as green as green could be, and uh, we learn. And luckily, I can take these experiences that we've already been through, mm -hmm. share them, share, share it with them, uh, starting with the relocation to the <laughs> adaptation to, you know, just getting plugged in. And uh, there's a lot of locals up here, so it's pretty easy to plug yourself into the coconut wireless and, you know, adapt and make yourself a nice little home here. Right. Now, you've seen, the, you know, throughout the years, um, you saw the, uh, the growth, of, well, saw the growth of uh, local uh, people coming to uh, Las Vegas. Has it uh, increased over the years? Oh, it's been... <laughs> crazy <laughs> you just look at the unlv uh count from hawaii right it's crazy i mean we're growing at like eight people per hour and i'm not sure how much of that is hawaii but i've as you know seen i've seen a massive uh i've seen the ninth island you know grow, grow before our eyes right right it's it's been amazing Oh, man. I'll tell you, we'll talk more with uh, Randy and the growth of uh, the Hawaiian community here on the Ninth Island. And uh, as you continue with uh, more music right here at the Little Grass Shack, I'm Island Emery. Uh, get connected with us at islandemery.com. Your source of aloha, the Little Grass Shack. Enjoying the spirit of Loha right here with the Little Grass Shack. Continue on Hanoi Spotlight. The Randy Hatata in the Little Grass Shack. How's it, brother? How's it? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, during the break, I was just talking about the growth of uh, the local people or the Hawaii people coming to Las Vegas. And uh, it's like uh, adding water. Uh, it is. It is. And uh, the growth is the component to that, right? Right. And um, uh, you know, every time I sometimes I, I think about the real estate market, um, uh, you know, I wonder where the most local people have you seen gravitate to? I mean, you got people from you know, North Las Vegas, you got Southwest, Summerlin, then you got Henderson, uh, Silverado Ranch. I mean, uh, what, what, what is your... Uh, We've done a lot of studies on that. And uh, the conclusion is the epicenter of the Hawaiian community is in Silverado Ranch. We're everywhere, yes. But again, the density is there. Wow! Hence the Hawaiian food, the uh, yes, you know, sir. and everything that goes with it, right? Yes, yes. Uh, no, I, I always wanted to ask that question because you know, more and more you see these uh, you know cars on on the road that has you know Maui no Kauai <laughs> or Hawaii, and then you see all the islands on the car, and then yeah. you know, oh, what school they represent, and you know, right. it's just like uh, I kind of drive through, and I was like, man, 
because I, I don't really fly the you know my Hawaii colors on my car. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, wow, man, it's just the the influx of people here that represents the spirit of aloha. Uh, it's just amazing. I love that people show you know where they're from and like us, uh, the islands represent more than just the islands. It's the people, yes. right? Yeah, it's it's the uh, steward. I guess you can call it the stewardship of aloha. You know, I mean, I believe that's our purpose here in life. That uh, you know, kind of presents, uh, you know, we're, we're you know God's work. I guess you could say. Mm-hmm. You know, we we only here for a amount of you know limited time, mm-hmm. and then we're on our way. But we try to teach you know through uh, you know uh, education or uh, you know life experiences. Uh, but uh, yeah, you've uh, you've uh, done so much in the community. I mean, how how did you kind of how did you uh, step into that like? Well, uh, the community is the people, right? And right. it's about the people. And through business, through fun, through everything we do, it's, you know, it's the people that make it fun, right? right. And so we get involved in so many different ways uh, just because these are the people we want to hang out with, right? Yeah. And it starts with pure loa, ho'olalea, all the way down to sports. You know, my son plays mana, uh, Ravens football, flag football, uh-huh. and that's about 200 kids from Hawaii. Wow. Right? Majority of, and uh, it's just a different environment. Right. Right. And then, uh, you know, what, but uh, just seeing the, the kids aspect, I mean, like you said, you have a, you have children of your own. Uh, I mean, uh, what do you think of them uh, growing up in Las Vegas? Uh, there's, I think it's a positive thing. It's, you know, there's goods and bads about right. everything and it's everywhere. Um, but, as for me and my son, we, we, we stay as grounded as you could here in a fast city. Uh, we still do the fishing and, you know, we, we, we play the sports and uh, we travel back and forth quite often. Yeah, right. Keep that culture strong, you know? Oh, man. You know, we'll talk more about family values uh, with uh, Randy and the uh, Little Grass Shack. Yeah, you can connect with us uh, right here at islandmemory.com. Talk about the source of aloha. It happens with you first. Back, Little Grass Shack. Uh, yes, Source of Aloha. It starts with you. Right now, Randy Hatata still in the Little Grass Shack, my man. Still here. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, uh, learning about this gentleman, and he's, uh, you know, literally when he speaks, uh, he's an educator. Now, I've uh, kind of, uh, you know, went through a social media, and I, and I caught your uh, couple videos of you on there. And I was like, wow, look at this handsome guy. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the handsome, but thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, you get that massive physique, bro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, it's the Aloha shirt. It's the, it's the Aloha shirt. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, thank you. I'll take the Aloha shirt. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, no, but, uh, you know, yeah, how'd you get into uh, literally jumping on a YouTube channel or, you know, literally getting into, a, you know, being more vocal about uh, your passion? Um. Like you said, the passion is the educational piece right. and, you know, sharing the message and teaching people whatever it is we, we you know, we want to convey, right? right? And right now it's what Las Vegas is, what it's all about. Here's the opportunity. And for us in real estate, it's how to obtain home ownership, generational wealth, and all the things that maybe we didn't learn in school. Right. I'm even trying to uh, really get involved somehow to create seminars for those gaps in education, right? And teaching people how to manage money right. and, you know, create better uh, credit so that they can qualify for housing and the difference between ownership versus rent and all of the above. So that is awesome, man. You know, uh, you being a, a pillar in the uh, community and uh, getting involved in, uh, you know, like you said, talking about educating our, our, um, our next generation, it, it's, it's so hard because if I knew what I knew you know, now, mm-hmm. you know, we would have been like a hundred, hundred steps away. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Right. <laughs> and, um, uh, you know, we would be in a more, a better position to, uh, you know, help others because, you know, become that, that voice like you've uh, become in the community. And I, I really appreciate that, uh, uh, what you do in the community. Um, uh, are you working with the, any, uh, like certain projects that uh, is more, you know, very passionate to you about kids education wise? Uh, we, we're trying to create them. Mm-hmm. And one of our platforms is through social media, YouTube, uh, and the other uh, channels are just to funnel back to YouTube because that's where we get to speak uh, to a larger audience. Uh-huh. If I had the time to speak to everyone individually, we would because right. that is 
that is where the love lies. That's where the passion is, right? Mm-hmm. And like, like I said, like, or you said, if we can start from the children and have them learn what we wish we learned at that age, how far ahead are they going to be, right? And how much better opportunities are going to cross their paths that they can recognize and, you know, get their hands on. Right. So that's what it is, just creating opportunities and better lives for people. Hmm. You know, for some reason, I can just picture on like TED Talks. Oh, I got to work. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> I, I got to break down that uh, pigeon. But like I said, I embrace it now. I, I was very, uh, um, very critical of myself about it. But right. at this point, I gave all that up and I just, I just speak the language that I was taught to speak and uh, let it, let it go, you know? You know, you know I think uh, the whole language that we speak is uh, faith. You know what I mean? And uh, I believe in the in faith that everybody, we'll, we'll meet in the crossroads. It took a long time for that to come around and, you know, just being proud of who you are, yes, you know, sir. rather than adapting to the, the mainstream. Right. And I think uh, now in my later years, I'm starting to find out a little bit more of who we are, why we are who we are. And, you know, a lot has to come, comes down to parents and culture, right? Yes. And the Hawaii culture. Yes. Hawaiian culture. Yes. You know, we'll talk more about stewardship uh, with uh, Randy right here and the future and outlook uh, of uh, Mr. Hatata in the uh, Little Grass Shack. Stay tuned. I'm Island Emery, Little Grass Shack. More music coming your way, islandemery.com. Island Emery and brother Randy in the uh, Little Grass Shack. Yes, uh, yes. Hey, having a good time in the uh, Little Grass Shack. And, uh, you know, throughout the break, you guys don't hear us uh, giggling, but uh, there's a lot of laughter in here. It's the spirit of law. If you guys can feel the energy uh, through just the talk uh, talk story segment, this man is definitely, uh, he's doing his job. Now, um, uh, for me, with radio, I'm going to get kind of personal. It's like, uh, for me, it's to build uh, with the Little Grass Shack, so obviously to open the doors, the platform for people from Hawaii to come to Las Vegas and venture to new opportunities. But um, sometimes people can't survive in the mainland. They have to go back to Hawaii. Mm-hmm. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Bro? Nothing wrong with that. You know, Las Vegas isn't for everybody. And, right. uh, you know, there's also people who take advantage of Las Vegas and able to take the opportunities, blessings, financial gains, uh, experiences, and bring it back home and you know, pour it into local Hawaii. Right. And so, you know, I respect that and appreciate that. Right. Now, you know, and that's the thing too, I, I, I got to touch on because sometimes um, people come to, uh, you, know, ho- you know, from Hawaii, they do their vacation and then, then they say, you know what, uh, for us Hawaiians, um, uh, you know, living up in mainland, um, you kind of le- left your aloha. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Left, the, left the state. I do. And um, I don't know if like, you, should, you come across that, but I, sometimes I do come across that being in radio, and uh, it, it does kind of hit home. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Well, number one, I'm, you know, I'm Japanese. I, I, I call myself Hawaiian because I'm really? born oh. and raised, you know, yes, and uh, that is really my, my culture. That's, yes, that's me inside, right? Yeah. Um, with that, there's a lot of unfortunate stereotypes and judgment uh, being here, talking about Hawaii, embracing the Night Island. And uh, I think what people miss is that I'm pro-Hawaii. We still love Hawaii. Yes. Opportunity has blessed us here in Las Vegas, but my heart is still there in Hawaii. I still try to do the best for the Hawaii people. And if Vegas helps them get to what their goals are in whatever direction that might mean to them, right. then go for it. You know, I, I'm full support of that. And, you know, I'm trying to do my best to take care of the people Mm -hmm. and i didn't have that coming here uh beyond my friends right and so having someone in their corner uh supporting them regardless coming or going you know i think is a good benefit for everyone wow you know as you talk about the bridge between here and there um hawaii um what's your what's your first restaurant stop when you go back to hawaii (laughs) Oh, my. First one is uh, Mom's Kitchen, honestly. But, uh, yeah. Can't beat the home cooking. <laughs> oh, man. Hawaiian-style cafe. There's there's hundreds, but I, I got to tell you, it comes back down to the 
mom's cooking with the you know smoked meat oh, and yeah. the dried uh, fish oh, opialu, wow. you know uh, nice. poke all right <laughs> and it's coming from a street fisherman so uh, we're gonna talk about his loves and likes uh, right here in the las vegas uh, area on the ninth island uh coming up next you guys stay tuned with the little grass shack and mr randy hatata on my island emery Yeah, it's a little grass shack uh, as we continue with the uh, the best of island music <laughs> and uh, brought our Randy in the uh, little grass shack. How's it going? Right on. <laughs> oh, having fun, man. <laughs> oh, man. I, I tell you what, man. It's just a, it's a, it's a breath of fresh air. You know, the spirit of Lowell, you know, walking into studio and I get to talk to somebody like uh, with your stature as well as, um, you know, your, your background. I mean, with all what you do, what is the vision of Randy Hatata in Las Vegas or Ninth Island? My vision literally is to continue educating people um, about what Las Vegas is, trying to diminish a lot of the stereotypes, and really just providing opportunities for people who maybe did not have the opportunity prior to Las Vegas, you know, if it's Las Vegas specific. Mm -hmm. But in reverse, it's trying to educate the people here about what Hawaii is, who we are, what we're about, and about the beautiful culture that has created us. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the message. That is awesome. Yeah. I mean, what do you think of the pricing, you know, because uh, a lot of people going to Hawaii, $1 million for a home, 1,200 square feet. We catching up, <laughs> which I don't like. Uh, <laughs> but, but I mean, you know, getting priced out of Hawaii is a real deal. Mm -hmm. And the saddest story is, you know, talking to clients on a daily basis and them telling me, I have two, three jobs, both me and my husband or vice versa work, and we can barely eke by, you know, mm -hmm. paying rent, living in town. Mm -hmm. And uh, quite frankly, we've taken these families and if Las Vegas for them, they've come here, created uh, one job uh, each and uh, been able to attain home ownership and send their children to uh, uh, good education and, you know, opportunities that weren't there for them in Hawaii. So, you know, with come come full circle, Vegas is taking care of them in that way. And they can always bring that education back to Hawaii. They can always really relocate back to Hawaii and uh, open some people's minds up about, hey, it's not that bad to explore the world, you know? Right. See, man, that's, that's a great philosophy of, uh, you know, bringing education, uh, you know, to the uh, surface and letting people know that, uh, hey, man, there is a home. There's a, there is a home for you. Well, my father taught me that wisdom is, you know, applying knowledge and experience. But without the experience, then how do you attain the wisdom, right? And so by doing and moving and and traveling, you get these experiences and you can apply that to your own life and, you know, take the best of it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, got, I yeah. wish. Is he still around? He just passed away about uh, three weeks ago. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. So all of this is fresh in my no, head. No, yeah. you know, again, there it is, man. You get to pass yeah. on the wisdom. Now, um, uh, if people want to uh, kind of uh, learn more about uh, Randy Hatata and uh, his vision and uh, his education, and uh, you know, especially the videos, where, where can they get this? Uh, the number one spot is uh, we, we have two channels. One is for Expand Realty Las Vegas, and the other is Randy Hatata, uh, Randy Hatata Realtor um, Las Vegas on YouTube. And... It's a little bit more, of course, real estate related, but it's very general in the fact that we don't just teach real estate. We talk about Vegas, what Vegas is, what's happening with Vegas, the growth, the good, the bad, the ugly as yes, well. Yes. Um, so anybody who wants to know more about Las Vegas, that's really the message. And if anybody wants to get uh, more involved or understand what and how the real estate process works, we also are educated in that field as well. Wow. Yeah. You know, one thing you, you, you know, hit the nail on the head was, uh, is that the generational wealth, if people can learn it now and, um, you know, you have kids, um, you can teach them on the way up. You look at Hawaii right now, if it were, weren't for generational wealth with a lot of parents having land or uh, houses, whatever it is, right? right? Getting passed along or being able to build on or having the second home in the backyard, people, they'd get pushed out sooner. It's that expensive right now, you know, it's, but they've created that for their family and that's 
that's my uh, definition of generational wealth. Right. Uh, we'll talk more about uh, Randy and the uh, Little Grass Shack as uh, I get choked up uh, about, uh, you know, our community. Uh, I'm Eileen with Little Grass Shack, your source of law. I hope you're enjoying uh, the music uh, as well as the talk story with uh, Mr. Randy Atala, man. Man, you know what? Uh, it's like this time just flew by, but it's like, man, just, I'm so glad that you got a chance to come out. Out of your busy schedule to come and hang out. Oh, with I appreciate far. the opportunity, Emery. Uh, much love and respect. I've, I'll end it there. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, with, uh, you know, with the, uh, I guess like your TED Talks or uh, you know educational video, <laughs> the, Emory talks. No, the, the Emory talks, the Emory talks, the educational videos that uh, you put out and uh, and what you're doing in the community. Um, uh, I hope really people uh, gravitate to this because uh, you know you're putting out knowledge and and, and the voice that w- what people really need to un- know, understand. I mean, what, what, what's your like your uh, philosophy or uh, you know what would you like to leave our listeners with? My philosophy would be the secret to success mm-hmm. is really you know getting people to where they want to go and having them achieve their goals, right? Yes. And for me, it goes all the way back to the old Japan days where I'm fourth generation Hawaii and uh, they left their hometown to give us, the kids, right, everything, opportunity. And my parents did the same, Hawaii did the same for me. And so being here opens opportunity for me to grasp that knowledge experience and now share that back with my world, my sphere of influence and the uh, people I love. And so... That is my message. It's I'm here for you. It's time for me to give back. And that is really what I'm trying to do. Wow. So well said. Yeah. I mean, um, I think, uh, you know, like we said, uh, you know, throughout, uh, throughout the interview, it's like uh, we all have a purpose. And then uh, I think the purpose is for you to be here today and express, you know, what the, your life journey has, like you said, come full circle. Well, I had to learn to... Uh communicate all of this uh and i'm still working on it as you know but uh no, you're good, man. but like you said we all have a calling and i feel like i've been granted these opportunities and now i get to share them with whoever's willing to listen wow now um uh, you know living in the ninth island and you see the growth of uh food uh what's what's your number one place here in las vegas Oh, <laughs> we'll put you on the spot, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna pass it now, bro. Right, right. you, know, you know, like junk in a pool. <laughs> okay, let, 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 let's stay. Let's stay away from local. How about uh, if you're going out, taking the wife on a date, uh, yeah, onto the strip? But you know, like for me, uh, it used to be like it used to be Texas Day Brazil because you know uh-huh. the one I used to love uh-huh. to eat. But now it's like uh, more of a more of a comfort place to uh, hang out. Um, uh, you know, sometimes I. Sometimes In-N-Out Burger sometimes it sounds good to me. You know what I mean? I don't. Know. What, what's what's just one place? It doesn't have to be local. Oh, people are gonna shoot me for this one. Huh? What? I I love sushi, right? Oh, and I'm like uh, one of one of my favorites, really. Uh, if you want like more authentic style, yeah. higher end sushi is uh, Sushi Hero. Sushi Hero. Yeah, and um, I don't know. I I made friends with all the chefs. They are from Japan, uh, Fukuoka, and uh, they're a real deal. Wow, oh, I enjoy it. Yeah. Natto, you eat natto too? Oh, <laughs> well, fourth generation. Right? That, that, that's last in line. That's last in line. <clears throat> well, <laughs> hey, man, much mahalo for you coming <laughs> and sharing uh, your uh, your lifelong journey with the, the Little Grass Shack. I know it's a little bit short, but uh, I know I'm going to get you back on this show and we can express uh, more of what uh, Randy Atala is putting out in the community. So really much mahalo for coming to the Little Grass Shack. Bob. Appreciate what you're doing and appreciate the opportunity, Emery. Yeah. Uh, more than you probably know. Oh, man, mahalo. Yeah. Hey, man, hey, back to you guys out there, man. You guys share the spirit of aloha like Mr. Randy Atara right here in the Little Grass Shack. We'd like to say ahoy ho, malamapono, and uh, right on you guys. Aloha. Aloha. Aloha.